Hello there, Johannes here. <laughs> now you might be wondering, how did I end up in this situation? Driving a uh, dog sleigh in the middle of the Arctic. Well, I'll tell you what, we're not in the middle of the Arctic, we're in northern Sweden. In the Arctic Circle though. Thank you, Johannes, in the past. But I think it's better if we take it from the start. We are currently in Kiruna, Sweden, a town in Swedish Lapland, north of the Arctic Circle, and we were looking for cool adventures. And I don't know about you, but we thought dog sledding in the Arctic sounded pretty cool, so that is exactly what we decided to do. Now, we were staying at a place that had huskies and were organizing dog sledding tours, but we decided to go with a different company. Why? Well, we wanted to drive the sled ourselves, because that obviously sounds like a lot more fun. They also picked us up at our accommodation, so that wasn't really more work for us either. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Are you going on a dog sled tour with Kiruna Husky? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, you don't go dog sledding in the actual town, but after a not too long ride through the winter landscape, we had arrived at a husky property. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is your and after we had got us some extra warm clothing, the sluts were prepared and we got instructions on how to drive. We here by the... Here you can, on the, the harness you can pull a little bit harder. Don't pull too hard here, but you can lead them back onto the trail. Or even pull them back onto the trail on the harness. Before you go on. Are you excited? <laughs> oh, I have no words for that. I'm so excited. I will not let you drive at all. <laughs> you can start if you want to. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. But it wasn't just me that was getting impatient. Not easy being ready to go. You're sounding the same inside. <laughs> and the closer to the car show we got, the more impatient the dogs became. I give you the line? Yes! Finally, we were off. <laughs> See it on the camera, but this is just so pretty. This is really that easy. I expected it to be a lot easier. Woo! Hopefully, we'll now never fall over, though. Yeah. <laughs> I must look so ridiculous. I'm kind of like kneeing down a little bit, you know? Yeah. Low in my knees. You got this. I have a pro driver. I'm. Uh, I've done this a thousand times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel totally comfortable. <laughs> Not scared at all. Huh? Not even for a second. <laughs> I will be so scared when you're driving. Yeah, I must say it was absolutely amazing yeah. to experience the frozen nature this way. I mean, seriously, look at this: white snow, the black forest, and the orange warm sky. Oh, good. Yeah. Everything, like my nose, my eyes, everything is so runny. Yeah. It's a lot of heart, you know, here in the, the deep snow, kind of. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun, but it's also hard. <laughs> left, 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 side. I'm laying down, I'm laying down. There we go. There we go. Good job, doggos. Good job. So, we have been driving for some time now. I think I'm covered in snow and ice. Uh, I just warmed up my thumbs. They're pretty nice again. Uh, my big toes are getting a little bit chilly. Um, I hope they won't fall off, but we'll see. Okay, now we've been going for a while. How, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, actually. Yeah. I'm doing well. My fingers are getting warm again. Yeah. So I took a picture. But my toes are dying, I'm yeah. gonna say. Yep. Yeah, mine as well. Absolutely are. But that's okay. 
This is the dream. It's time to go again. Oh, oh, so yeah. Why are we not going? And up we go. Forward. Ah, someone farted again. <laughs> <laughs> to the right, to the right, to the right. Oh my god, oh my god. Like really, this is one of the coolest things I have ever experienced. If you ever have the chance to drive a dog sled, take it. Now kind of halfway on the tour, and that meant that it was finally my turn to drive. And man, was I ready! Sit down. I am. I am. Oh, 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 yeah. oh he's going already! Wow. <laughs> Pretty red right in my face. I don't know. Is that true? Oh Am I a tomato? <laughs> snow in my face. A tomato with snow in my face. <laughs> Back again after two hours or so in the freezing cold, it was only fair that we gave the dogs a little massage before we headed into a cheapy to warm up next to a fire with some hot soup. Well, the soup was very tasty and warming. We were still a bit hungry. So we asked the company to drop us off at our favorite fast food spot. I'm back again. We're local, man. Yeah. So, you want the same or? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Delicious as always. It's minus 20 degrees. Means it's tying our shoelaces. Just the stuff you do when it's minus 20 degrees. Yeah. She's so happy that, that she finally had a reason to take off her gloves. Oh my god, I like this. I don't want to be so <laughs> Yeah, I know. Don't leave. I know. Can we stay? If you find a good place. 
Without going too far into future events, you should be careful what you wish for. Now, we had only one more box to tick off in our Arctic Bingo, seeing the Aurora Borealis. So far it had been too cloudy to see them, but tonight the sky was supposed to be clear. And while we waited for the KP index to reach its highest point of the night, we took another sauna. Sauna time again. It was probably not the smartest decision, because it's a lot harder to motivate yourself to head out when it's minus 25 and you're all warm and cozy after a sauna. But it was our last chance to see the Borealis, so what choice did we have this time? This is our last chance. This is our last chance to see the Northern Lights. There's like a... There is a chance to see them tonight, but they're not that strong. But this is the first time we have clear conditions. We also have a strong moon. We also have a crazy strong moon. You can see it, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It makes everything a bit too bright. It looks so pretty, though. It does look crazy pretty. Here the lights are not, it is. So far, I don't see anything. No. Let's try again. What happens if I put the focus somewhere else? Well, it doesn't seem like we're seeing any Borealis with our cameras, even. It's so bright outside. It's crazy. Like, you can't see it on the camera, obviously, but... It looks like it's kind of... 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Just fell down 2 meters. Okay, here we get a good view over the sky. Oh, we do. But it looks really bright. If we can't see now, that's it. Then there is... No Borealis, visible from here. <laughs> <laughs> so we made a last attempt with every single camera we had. Well, it seems like we couldn't see them. No northern lights. No northern lights. We've been trying. We have been trying. We really have. Oh well. Last night, I don't think you... No, you didn't get up. I yeah. actually got up. Yeah, I well, actually went down to six. Yeah, when you went for a 4.30 in the morning, yeah. Yeah, we set an alarm at 4 to check. Yeah. But, well, at least we got uh, treated with like the most beautiful day ever today. That's true. So... That is very, very true. So it's okay. Yeah, that's life. <laughs> that's life. Keep hunting. We keep hunting and uh, <laughs> yeah. Eventually we will see them. I'm sure we will. Maybe not in your home country though. Next time we go to Norway. Yeah, I've heard they have sorry. great northern lights there. <laughs> so we sorry. just take twice the amount of money for it. Yeah, we might not have seen any northern lights, but we did have some amazing adventures in the north. And we will definitely have to explore this region more in the future. Maybe we will be more lucky then. And that would have been the end of this adventure. Except it wasn't. It's go back to Tinsendorf. We are soon coming back to more information. Yeah, the plane arriving from Düsseldorf literally turned around and flew back home due to heavy winds. And from what I overheard on their walkie-talkies, the airport staff was just as shocked as the passengers. Oh my god. <laughs> the people on the plane. Imagine yeah. the people oh, on yeah, the Oh yeah, the people plane. on the plane must be... Their holidays just getting cancelled. Oh yeah. Like everything here is full. Like, I don't... Like, I, all the I, I honest, in yeah. Corona is full. Like, I honestly don't... Don't know how they're gonna solve this. They will have to book anything. But there is nothing. The Kiruna is full. That is Eurowind's problem. I mean, like the flights from Stockholm don't get cancelled all the time here. No, 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 not at all. Oh my God, I guess Eurowings didn't know what they were getting into. Well, if you fly to the Arctic, you gotta be expecting <laughs> bad conditions. <laughs> this is a fucking joke. I guess that's a new pilot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Expected. Expect the delay, 1035 minutes. We're sorry for the delay. And the apologies for any inconvenience this may cause. <laughs> Great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I may have your attention, please. So uh, we have spoken with your wings and they will pay for hotels for this evening. We are still awaiting confirmation whether or not they will pay for transportation to uh, from the hotel. So please bear with us until we have confirmation for that. But we will book hotel rooms anyway. Uh, regarding tomorrow's flight, we are still awaiting confirmation what the status is there. It seems they will send a replacement flight tomorrow, but that is not confirmed at this time. Thank you. We're gonna get our bags and uh, get a hotel. 
Did they say something about the transfer? Though? No. No, it's going well. As you can see, it's snowing a little. It's well, the flags are moving a little bit. You can see there. Um, I don't know. When I took my driver's license, I had a lot worse conditions, to be honest. Then again, I don't have a plane license. The bus is here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So we got a fancy hotel room. Just had a beer in the lobby. I don't think we can build your wings for that one, but yeah. The guy apologized that he could only give us single beds. <laughs> well, this is a single bed, I don't know. Okay. We should use four flights. <laughs> At least in Europe where they have to do stuff like this. <laughs> she was Constantly saying, I don't want to go home, I want to stay in Kirina. And she got exactly what she wished for. Yeah, I got what I wanted. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> oh, I'm not really have time to enjoy the time in the snow, but. No, that's true. Oh, well, that night we had dinner at a hotel with some other stranded people and it turned into a quite nice evening. And the next morning we started with a nice hotel breakfast before it was time for a new attempt at dinner. This day the weather conditions were noticeably worse, and when I made some small talk at check-in, the staff did not seem too convinced we would leave today either. He has said, at least they have not turned around yet. The SAS airline is also circling. And if they don't land, you are always not gonna land. Any last words? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Quite delayed, the Scandinavian Airlines flight actually landed, and believe it or not, so did the Eurowings one. But it was still too early to celebrate. Uh, the Scandinavian Airlines has not taken off yet, but both planes are here, so um, we'll see. Can you be quiet? I'm doing my Duolingo, because it seems like we're staying in Sweden forever, so I gotta... <laughs> <laughs> better learn Swedish. <laughs> but after some time, the SAS flight took off, and we were finally allowed to board our flight. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go. 20 D. Bye. Bye. Yes, we were now on board. The wings were de-iced, and only 40 minutes behind our new departure time, we rolled onto the runway. And here we're gonna end this episode and our Lapland adventure for this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Are you getting cold? No, not too bad.